Success as an AC and independent business owner is not guaranteed, but rather influenced by an individual's specific efforts. No one is guaranteed success as an IBO. This presentation was recorded during the Sydney International Event March 24-26, 2017. This presentation may contain information regarding the ACN compensation plan, promotions and product pricing which has changed since the date of the recording. Views expressed and any claims or comparisons made by IBOs presenting are theirs and not ACNs. Please check acnpacific.com and the IBO back office for an up-to-date information. Now, what are events? Why are events so powerful? Well, events are really no different to what we do every single day. How many of you, before you came to this event, collected your mobile phone? How many of you bought your mobile phone today? Come on, yep, all of you. Now, can I ask you a question? What was that mobile phone doing last night? Charging. Charging. So a mobile phone is an extremely powerful tool if it's charged. If you don't charge it for 72 hours, how powerful is that mobile phone? It's not. You see, ladies and gentlemen, events are the charger for our business. If you are not plugging in to Saturday training events, to leadership events, to conference calls, to every event that ASIM provides to keep you charged, you are a dead business. Just like that mobile phone. And I want you to think about that for a moment because I know there are people that are here today who turned up today but haven't been to an event since the last international event. And you're wondering why so many people were walking the stage yesterday. That is the reason why. They plug in and stay charged. You're dead for seven months. Now, what happens when you get people to an international event? It is like ASEAN taking the battery out of your mobile phone and replacing it with a supercharged, brand new battery. Do you understand what I'm saying? So you have to continuously keep growing yourself, and the only way you can do that is through events. And these are the events. Please make sure you take notes of them. <clears throat> now, our co-founder, Mr. Tony Cooper, by the way, hasn't he done an incredible job this weekend? And this is what he says. He says that the training events will do for you what you cannot do for yourself. And that is so true. You see, I almost made a big mistake not coming to my first international event. You know the people who make the excuses, I'm too busy, can't get a babysitter, got no one to look after my businesses, my husband needs me at home to do the dishes, you know, all the excuses we hear. I almost didn't come to my first international event. Can I share something with you? I wouldn't be in the business today. I would not be in the business today if I didn't come to my very first international event. You see, the international event is what solidified ACN for me in my heart. You see, I was doing ACN, but ACN wasn't in me yet. Does that make sense? So that's what these events do, and that's why you and your team need to plug in. Now, some of you know the story. By the way, who enjoyed my son Eli yesterday? <laughs> when I got the delivery date, it was the weekend of an international event in Brisbane. And I'd never missed an international event and I had not planned on missing an international event. So when the doctor said, we'll give you an option, you can either have a cesarean and pick your date, or try for natural, I'll go for the cesarean if I can pick my date. So I picked the date two weeks before the international event, so I turned up at that event with a two-week-old baby, and I was on stage training that weekend, so no, listen, it didn't surprise me that all Eli wanted was to get to the mic. He literally grew up in ACN. So I don't want to miss an international event, not because of the recognitions. I mean, the re recognitions are great. I don't want to miss an event because I don't want to miss the puzzle that's going to fit together, that's going to put that SVP badge on my chest. See, we are all learning from incredible leaders who come to this marketplace to give gems to us and it really surprises me because as I was walking around and I'm looking at everybody and I can see that there are people not taking notes. Ladies and gentlemen, this is where RVPs and SVPs are born. So you have to participate. You have to take notes, take the gems away, and most importantly, put them into action. So promoting training events. Why are training events so important? And why are they important for your team? Well, like I said, 
Mr. Rao Kangatala, true story. I sat in his home one week out from an international event. I put four registrations on the table, two for his new IBOs, one for his wife and one for him. And I said, if you are serious about this business and you are really serious about your reason why you're doing the business, you need to fill in the form so I can register you. Guess how many people filled in the form? The champion. Mr. Rao Kankatella filled in the form, came to his first international event, and that is the reason why he's still in the business today. International events. So for your team, if you had people that should have been here and you didn't get them here, whose fault is that? Yours. You need to do everything that you can to get people to international training events. You are responsible for that. And if you're thinking, I spoke to an IBO just recently and when we had this chat and you know, he said, I feel really bad now. And I said, why? He said, because I bought their excuses and I now know that the likelihood of them quitting is very likely because the next international event isn't for another six to seven months. So don't make that mistake and not get people here, even if you have to pay their ticket, do whatever you do. Listen, I'll tell you what I do. Do you wanna know one of my tips? I believe so much in these international events that I will put money on the table to get them here. I guarantee that if they do not see a way that can change their lives financially forever, I will give their money back and an extra $189 just for wasting their time. Because I believe in international training events. Now making that offer, can I ask you a question, did it work? Absolutely. So you've got to make sure that you build their belief their excitement, their action will take place, and by, by results, you'll see the success in your business. So let me repeat that. If you get your team to international events, you will build their belief. If you build their belief, you will build their excitement. If you build their excitement, they will automatically go into action, and through action, you will get the results that you want, which is my question to all of you. What do you want? What do you want? You turned up today, you turned up this week, and you organized babysitters, maybe some people to take care of your businesses, maybe time off work. Why did you do that? What do you want from this event? And you need to know that before you leave this event. Otherwise, your reason for being here is really gonna be just a big waste of time. Now, are you okay if I talk to you as leaders? Yes. Great. So you need to decide what, right now, what do you want? SVP. Do you, SVP, that's what I wanna hear. So this is what you do. You decide what you want. You find somebody who's done it. You study that person. You don't have to live with them. You just have to study them. We have this thing called the internet. You can study them. Everything they do, presenting, training, whatever, you do, whatever they do. Study them and then start to put a plan together and execute it. No good having a plan if you don't execute it, right? So promoting training events, how do we do this? We use some great tools, we use the videos, we edify speakers, my goodness me, Mr. Franco LaFranco, Senior Vice President, Circle of Champions. I mean, that is a tool that we can use to promote people into international events. Our next keynote speaker for Brisbane is Senior Vice President, Circle of Champion, Mr. Art Napolitano. Go on and study that incredible human being, find out everything you can about him, and promote him like he's the next Bill Gates or the next Steve Jobs. Do you understand what I'm saying? You've got to know about the person to do a great job in terms of edifying them. Remind them of their reason why. Why are they doing the business? Use that to get them here. Testimonies, stories. Use the stories within your organization to get people here. Use our story if you have to. Create fear of loss. This is what I did, true story. I had a gentleman that really needed to be here because we'd promoted some of his team here and he couldn't be here because he's at another event. So I kept promoting, promoting, promoting. And yesterday we had 12 of his team here. And at the last minute, he said, I think I need to come to this event. So he came yesterday because even though he wasn't coming, I wasn't giving up on the other people who saw the opportunity. And it's a little bit like the taprooting process. So if you can do that and get good at that skill, you're gonna create fear of loss and everyone's gonna to wanna to be here because they don't wanna miss out on anything. Be non-negotiable, I am non-negotiable. I don't give up till the last hour. 
I know that everyone needs to be in this auditorium if we want to see what their full potential is. Now remember this, ladies and gentlemen, we are a customer acquisition company that utilizes a network marketing model, which in my opinion is one of the most powerful business models on the planet. You know, it's like a franchise model without the franchise fees, come on. And all we have to do is just get people in to the business, train them on how to effectively acquire customers, and then allow them to go out there and be significant. Now think about this for a moment. The compensation plan and the services are available for all of us. But what makes the difference between somebody who gets started and only has maybe one or two people in their business, and then somebody who has an extremely massive business, like you saw yesterday. By the way, some of those incredible people were babies. I mean, when I say babies, few months in the business, and they are breaking records worldwide. So what is the difference? Let me show you. It's their vision. And their vision is so massive that their fear of loss, of missing out on what's gonna happen in the future isn't even in their vocab. There's no such thing as missing out on where this company's gonna be in the next five, 10, 15, 20 years. And you have to have that vision too because that's the vision that's gonna bring people into this business with you. My mother recruited me through her vision. I wasn't looking for an opportunity. I didn't need more money. I needed more time. My mother's vision was so massive that I had so, listen, this was my biggest fear, that my mother at the age of 62, now you know how young she is today, all right, 10 years in the business, she's 62 when she started. My biggest fear was that she was gonna make more money than I did by doing this business compared to what I was doing. So I begged her to take me on as her business partner, okay? You've got to have vision, because vision is what keeps you hungry. It's what keeps you in the game. With vision, you will consistently keep moving forward until your dreams, your goals, your reason why the way to win is achieved. It is through your vision. And if you need help with your vision, then connect yourself to someone who already has massive vision. I can tell you right now that out of all the recognitions that happened today, probably five people are responsible for many of the success that happened yesterday. Because I know that every person that walked the stage was working with someone who had massive what? Vision. When you bring people to international training events, this is where they catch that vision. So all you have to do, ladies and gentlemen, is make today your new start and start painting that vision moving forward into Brisbane. Have a goal of what you want before the next international event, and I love this. Action without vision is only passing time. Vision without action is merely daydreaming. But vision with action can change the world. Mr. Nelson Mandela. This is an international event. This is going to be an Asia Pacific international event. That's my vision. And I'm saying two years from today, that's gonna to be the Asia Pacific. Now my question to you is if that's where we're gonna be in two years, you can borrow my vision today, if that is where we are going to be, how many of those people in that auditorium do you want in your team, in this room, two years from today? I want you to take that picture and put it on your screen saver, because every person in this auditorium that belongs to you and your business is just going to multiply your business into multiple countries. Now, what's the next continent we're going into? What was that? Asia. You start building right now, you start building your army. When we go into Asia, my gosh, you go in with an army. Now, I want you to visualize this, ladies and gentlemen. I want you to visualize that you're starting your business for the first time. You know, even as a senior vice president, somebody asked me just yesterday, so your senior vice president, where to from here? Well, we've got to the finish line, we go back to the start, and we start all over again. 
You see, we are never going to be at a point where we know everything. There is too many people out there that need to know about this opportunity. It is not time for rest. It is actually time for us as senior vice presidents to work harder. I mean, what do our co-founders do? They work hard, harder than anyone else in this business. So what gives me the excuse to take it easy? So this is what you need to do. You need to imagine today you're starting your business, one brick at a time. Each brick represents a person in your business. Now this is what you have. You have the opportunity to build this business on your own. And if you do that, this is what's gonna to happen to your business. It's gonna take one push and over it goes. How many of you have had businesses that look like those bricks? Yeah, and I'll tell you the reason why. Because you didn't get them into an international event, you forgot to put the mortar between the bricks. You see, a house can't stand without mortar. You can put the bricks together, it takes time. Now let me ask you a question, would you rather build those bricks at home on your own or would you rather build it with an army? You see, ASIN gives us a choice. We can do things on our own and take a long time or we can do th things as a team and build it faster. But you must always remember that international events are the only events that solidify people in this business. The only events. Now if you do what I ask you to do, that's what your new business is gonna look like, that beautiful home that's up on the screen. Are you understanding what I'm telling you? These are the only events that can make your business grow and build solid. How many people do you want at your next international event? Do you know how many people you want at your next international event? I want somebody to yell out to me right now, how many people do you want in this auditorium in Brisbane at the next international event? <laughs> Write that number down. Write it down. Write it down. Write it down. Write it down. And you stick to that. You made a decision today, you've said it, write it down and make it happen. Now I'm going to share something with you that in my opinion is one of the most powerful, one of the most powerful gems I could share with anybody in building this business. And I shared this with my leadership team on Wednesday night just after our BOM. The number one reason why we are in top production and top pre-registration, and, and by the way, I'm gonna share this with you. Francis and I don't just have one position, we actually have two. The second position needs one more team coordinator from Platinum Regional Vice President. We haven't sponsored anybody into that business for three and a half years. So how did that business get to that position? By promoting people into events. So the power in promoting events this is my secret. Are you ready to write this down? Are you ready to write this down? Yes. Are you ready to write this down? Yes. I do not leave an international event unless I am registered first. I know that if I register myself first, I have locked it into my brain that I am committed. And all I have to work on is getting everybody else to commit. Now, I know there are people in this room that'll say, oh, but I don't have the money. Borrow it. Oh, but I don't have a credit card. Borrow the person next to you. <laughs> this has been the biggest difference for Francis and I in making our business the business it is today. We're not superstars, there's nothing special about us. We just got good at promoting people into events. So if you want your business to go all the way to senior vice president, then you need to be the first person to commit in your team. Once it's locked in there, I don't know what it does, but there's this you know, chemistry that goes on in my brain that says, right, now all I have to do is get everybody else in. So what do you have to do if you want to be a senior vice president? Register first. What do you have to do? Nosebleed section, what do you have to do? And then who do you register after that? You got it? Awesome. So for those of you who have a goal to be a team coordinator, make sure you have at least three new IBOs at the next international event. How many brand new IBOs? Three. And three separate legs. Everything after that is a bonus. If your next goal is regional vice president, you need four, four. 
teams of people in four separate legs at the next international event. How many? And if you want to be a senior vice president, you need six. And all you have to do is promote them into the international event. Work hard from now to Brisbane and promote them into the international event. Remember, everybody else after them are a bonus, all right? So this is what we're gonna do right now, ladies and gentlemen, and I want you to hold yourself accountable to the commitment that you made to go all the way to senior vice president. I want you to pick up your phone right now and I want you to lead by example. And if you do not have a credit card, I mean this, you need to ask the person next to you, if I give you the money, will you register me today because I want to be an SVP. Now I want you to repeat that, I want to be an SVP. One more time, but nice and loud. And in order for me to be an SVP, I have to register today. In order to be an SVP, I have to register. In order for me to be an SVP, I have to register too. When do you have to register? When do you have to register? I've just given you my biggest tip in this business, the number, one, the number one reason why we are SVPs today is because we were the first person in our team committed to international training events. You have to be that champion. You have to be that person that says, I'm in this, ASEAN's in me, I'm doing this. Let's go.